Good morning, family. Good morning. Thank you so much for this welcome. Thank you for inviting me. And um, thank you for the beautiful band, by the way. Can we give the band a round of applause? Yeah. Thank you for the great I love your songs. And as far as I'm concerned, the sermon was already given. There were the songs in the readings, right? All we have to do is do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I first of all um, want to bring you greetings from Injin Nim, Injin Moon, my boss, and our, <laughs> our new CEO, who always reminds me to tell everyone how much our father and mother Moon love you, how much our two parents, we call them two parents, love you. And uh, I want to thank Reverend Thompson also for giving me this chance to share my heart. I hope that God can speak to you and, and uh, beyond what I say today because everyone is here to receive a special, me special message this morning. So anyway, it was quite an adventure for me to get here in the first place. Um, our airplane was ready to go and then we got the message there's a storm ahead and we had to stay for one hour, one hour and a half on the runway. So during that time I thought, well, let me work on my, my things on my laptop. I tried to reach in my bag and it wasn't there. So I thought, what happened? And I thought, where did I leave my laptop? Of course, security, security check. So, you know, so I immediately called the stewardess and uh, we were on, way out in the runway and I said, can we please, uh, you know, locate my, my laptop? But uh, all they could do is get me a telephone number to call, which was the lost and found uh, office. And so I called, but nobody was answering. And it was already after seven. So I thought, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> you know? And uh, I felt a sense of um, calmness at the same time concern, because a lot of important things are on that laptop. So then, uh, after that, we did finally take off. And the airplane went into this craziness of shaking and bumping. And I've never been on such an airplane ride. So it continued for a long time. And I, I began to want, I started praying. I got scared, like never before. I thought, what is this? <laughs> and then I remembered, I'm about to speak to you about some, a very important topic called the new self. And I further remembered that what I'm about to say is not finished yet. And that is, how do we get to this new self? I felt so much anger coming up in me and uh, disappointment. And I thought, well, I still have a long way to go to overcome that. And uh, so I felt, okay, I have to do some homework. And I'm gonna talk about that homework a little later, what I did, I did it on the airplane. Anyway, brothers and sisters, we live in very difficult times. We live in very uncertain times, econ economically and uh, spiritually. We have uh, disasters, we have oil spills, you know, everything like that. And, and people are frantic and in fear at this time. Don't you agree? Most of us don't know what's going to happen next, like on my air, air flight. And many people don't know where, where to turn. And most of all, I noticed a lot of anger is being unleashed because that's how we react to things. We get angry if things don't go our way, if, we get, if we get, things get out of control. But there's some good news about that. There's a reason why all these things happen, and for a good reason. And I want to say that our, our dear spiritual leaders, Father and Mother Moon, are talking exactly about the time we live in and uh, that this is a time of great transition, where on one hand we have all these terrible things occurring, but on the other hand, it is also God's time. It is the time, the very time, where God wants to build his kingdom. Hard to believe, but it is so. God wants to use this time to let his people shine. I really like the last song, by the way, that uh, the band played, it was so beautiful. And uh, further, we, um, for me, a turning point to really understand this was actually January 13, 2001. It was the day where we had a special holiday called the Coronation of God's Kingship, which is Father Moon made a declaration that he received in his spirit that from now on, God really is in control of all things. And that the main things that we should think about as we build the kingdom, there are three points, and maybe some of you remember. 
The first one is purity. The second one is not to hurt anyone's heart. And the third is to use our, our materials and our resources wisely. So as I was thinking and reflecting about this, I suddenly had a realization. I, I thought, well, if that's so, that means that whoever, whosoever, is in line with God's principles and with God's truth and lives by it consistently, shall not be overcome anymore. It is now that goodness and God is taking the upper hand. However, it takes people who will be staying with God's ways and with God's truth and his love. So, and no one, and that was the interesting revelation I had, no one, no government, no leadership in positions, no, uh, no disasters, no, no nothing can stop this one because God is on the move at this time. Wow. So I further realized that means that I have to look at myself. Where am I in this thing? What is my situation with God, my relationship? And so I began to reflect. And um, I realized that I have to do a lot of changing myself. I have to change my own, how I see myself. And I, I want to become like in a reflection of God. So therefore I chose the title today, A New Self. And the new self is not something I come up with, it's already inside. But how to create that clean heart that we don't have yet, right? That's the challenge. How to become that pure vessel that God can use 24-7? Because this is what God needs right now. In this time of confusion, well, what do we need? We need leaders, we need examples of people who are clear, who are beautiful, who are powerful with the love of God, because only the love of God can bring the change, the real change we're talking about. And that's why we are going through these challenges, so we can take a look at, at these blocks in us, you know, called anger, called jealousy, called uh, envy, called um, frustration, despair, all these things. These are real blocks that have nothing to do with God. And so we are, we are, they're being highlighted, like with highlighter, so we can take a look, and if we choose to do so, of course. So also, Father Moon was saying that it is the time to remove that. In these three years between now and 2013, it's a great transitional time, and this is the very time when we are asked to remove that block, that fallen, fallen nature, we call it in our language here in this movement, but it's like, um, it's like a dark spot, let's say. It's a dark spot that needs to be removed. It doesn't belong to God's world. It doesn't allow God's world to come true. So that true self needs to be emerging. And so we can live with God and God can shine through us 24-7. So here I am trying to do this. How do you actually do that? And um, I, I can share with you um, uh, one process, uh, two things. First of all, I want to talk about two points, how I personally deal with this. Number one is I have to do some cleansing, cleansing. And number two, first of all, I have to cleanse my heart. And number two is I have to connect to the God within. Find that goodness, find that God within, because it's already here. Identify it and strengthen that true and beautiful and good self. Amen? That's what we need to do.